الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد احببت في الله one of the characteristics that distinguishes the mu'minin and distinguishes the path of the salaf and the minhaj of the salaf is that those who are following the minhaj of the salaf as-salih ridwan Allahi alayhim from the sahaba wa tabi'in wa tabi'a tabi'in is that they should be striving to be of the zakirin because the salaf were those who fit the criterion of mu'minin and establishing the path and the sabil uh the sabil mu'minin and codifying it for us as a minhaj as an aqidah and as a practice and the practice of the salaf as-salih as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran uh, of the people who are the righteous people the people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves and the people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless with paradise are from those sifat is that they are of ahl dhikr they are the people who remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that means in their ibadah that means in their knowledge that they're doing knowledge based they are away from innovation religious innovation those things which are ghayr mashru' those things which are not legislated by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala nor in the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam but rather they are following the prophetic supplications and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al-kareem wa dhakirina wa dhakirin Allah kathira wa dhakirat adda Allah lahum maghfiratan wa ajran azima Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem wa dhakirin Allah kathira and those who remember Allah kathira often uh, 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 um, they remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, not just often but they do it kathir you know they do it so they spend much of their time or most of their time remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in this ayat he mentions in the beginning he he, he mentions the zakirin so here we know the zakirin he's referring to not is not just am but it is referring to the male of his creation that remember him subhanahu wa ta'ala the males of his creation that remember him tabarak wa ta'ala and so he says wa zakirin Allah kathira wa zakirat then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the female of his creation the females of his creation who remember him often to let us know that they both have the same reward if they remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often the shahid and the importance is that they remember Allah azza wa jal so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa zakirin Allah kathira wa zakirat and then he says what he's going to give you adallah allahum maghfiratan wa ajran azima allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that he has prepared and he mentions himself subhana he says adallah lahum allah has prepared for them maghfiratan maghfira forgiveness wa ajran azima an immense reward so here's two great benefits of being of the zakirin wa zakirat. Is first you gain forgiveness and all of us need forgiveness because Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala said uh, the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam says in authentic hadith kul ibn adam khata wa khayra khata'in tawabun that all the children of Adam commit sins and those who sin and repent are the best. Uh you know those who uh khayran uh, those who are repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from those sinners meaning all of us are 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 uh, the best and they will be forgiven by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and so here we see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prepared forgiveness for us if we if we fo- follow that fit that criterion and ajran azima and immense reward so that immense reward is all those things in jannah that you desire and it's gaining that paradise and the beauty of being able to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
Qali ibn Salah, so one of the one of our pious predecessors, meaning Ibn Salah, I don't know when exactly he lived, but he was from the Mutaqaddimin, you know, he is those who preceded us and in earlier times. He said about this ayat and about these uh, the explaining the the Zakirin wa Zakirat, he said, Ida Wadib ala Adkar al Ma'fura al Muthbita uh Sabahin wa Masain fil Aukat wal Ahwal Muhtalifa Lailan wan Naharan Kana mina Zakirin Allah Kathira wa Zakirat. So uh Ibn Salah he explained that if the if a, a person is from those who is regular consistent uh, in their remembering of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with those azkar that are ma'thur Ma'thura. What does he mean, adhkar uh, ma'thura? He means those adhkar that are authentic in the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Not meaning that you can't remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, with general uh, ways of Re, re, uh, remembering him subhanahu wa ta'ala by dua that maybe is dua from yourself that is not in a, a dua which is specifically a dua of the Prophet sallallahu but it does mean that it is free from bid'ah it is free from going in a way which uh, is going beyond the bounds outside of that which is mishroor and there are many details with regards to that of what is bid'ah and going outside and this is not the time for us to uh, go into that but he says for those who are regular and consistent in their adhkar ma'thura those meaning those that are coming from the nasus coming from the text coming from the quran and the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam especially the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam because he says al ma'thura al muthbita you know those are that are firm they're firm by, by their authenticity the quran kullu is authentic so we don't that's outside of the scope in that in that uh, sense he said sabahin wa misa'in in the mornings and in the night and in the ver at various times and in various circumstances different circumstances during the evening and during the uh, uh, during the, the the evening and during the day then if they are doing this then they are from the zakirin wa zakirat they are from those the male and the females who remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often. Now I want to end with something very beautiful. This is Imam Anuawi, what he says in general about uh, dhikr. So he says something very beautiful. Imam Anuawi, rahimahullah ta'ala, he said, Al-marad min al-dhikr. He says, what is meant by dhikr? Hudur al-qalb. Fayanbali an yukun huwa maqsood al-dhakir. Fayahris. So this is beautiful. Imam Anawi, he says that what is meant by dhikr, you know, meaning remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is hudur al-qalb, is that your, your heart is present. So it's not just saying subhanAllah, alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar, and you're thinking about this, you're thinking about your business, thinking about getting married, thinking about that, thinking about this, thinking about something muharram. No. And this is why I'm mentioning this as a reminder to myself. So that way, next time I make dhikr, that hopefully my heart will be more inclined because we had a chance to uh, remind one another about this, the importance of remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with hadur al-qalb. So this is what Imam Anawi is saying, that this is what is maqsood. This is what is uh, meant by this. He said, al-marad min al-dhikr, hadur al-qalb, yan fa yan baghi, an yakun ma'al huwa maqsood al-dhakir. So it is... Uh, an obligation or it's a necessity that this is what the person who is remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that they that this is their intent is to have their heart present not just saying it on their tongues not just counting with their tasbih as many people do he said and he said so then 
be vigilant in trying to attain this, meaning trying to attain your heart, uh, uh, you know, in a state of remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and reflecting um, upon those things which you are, uh, you know, that you're making dhikr with. So those adhkar, if you're saying, subhanallah, alhamdulillah, wallahu akbar, try to know and learn the meaning of each of those phrases. For us, we need to know it in English and go beyond that, go into some of the explanations of, 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 of what it really means to, to make hamd, hamidallah, what does it mean? Subhanallah, you know, what, what are the meanings? Glorify uh, is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he's free from all imperfections. So try to study and contemplate and reflect on those meanings. And then he said, وَيَتَعَقْلْ مَعْنَاهَا فِي ذِكْرِ مَطْلُوبٍ كَمَا هُوَ مَطْلُوبٌ فِي قِرَاءَةِ لِاشْتِرَاكِهِمَا فِي الْمَعْنَى الْمَقْصُودِ So this is beautiful. Imam Nawawi then he said, so then the person should uh, should should have an intellectual understanding, should be able to grasp its meaning, and this is what we we're just saying. So we need to know and understand the meaning, and remembering uh, and making dhikr. This is what is. Uh, uh, this is meant and this is the intent of making dhikr similar to the way that this is what is meant when you are reading. So he says, Fikira'a. Kira'a what? Kira'a to Quran. Uh, because of their ishtirak, ishtirakihima. Because they both are a type of dhikr, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions. And he said, then he says, Fi ma'ana maqsud. وَلِهَذَا كَانَ الْمَذْهَبِ الصَّحِيَّ الْمَخْتَارِ إِسْتَحْبَابْ مَدِّ الذَّاكِرِ مَدِّ الذَّاكِرِ قُولْ لَا إِلَهَا إِلَّا اللَّهِ لَمَا فِيهِ مِنْ التَّدَبْرِ So Imam Anawi, then he, he drives this point home and he says, and with we, and in regards to this he said that the madhab that sahih or the way that's uh that's most sound and most authentic and which is recommended he said is to make mud that the dhakar makes mud that he he prolongs when he says la ilaha illallah because that is an extension uh for uh, contemplation. It's extending the kalimat to tawheed, the kali, uh, the kalimat tayyib, uh, kalimat tayyiba. This is extending it and giving you more opportunity to remember Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. So by saying La ilaha illallah instead of La ilaha illallah. So I think bi idnillah Taala. We hope that this is. Uh, clear and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct is from Allah Azza wa Jalla. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaytan.